Well, uh, good evening, everyone. Well, uh, we are here to present to you about the Android. My name is Sharin Padia, and my uh, teammates are uh, Ashwin Ravi Kumar and Vishal Taniparthi. Well, uh, we'll be explaining you about the history of Android, then the introduction of Android, then it comes the Android versions and uh, Android architecture. And at last, we'll be explaining you about the security. Now, the first is the history of Android. The Android was founded in uh, Palo Alto in California, dated on uh, October 2003 by uh, Andy Rubin, Rich Miner, Nick Sears, and Chris White. And uh, the early intention of the company was to, uh, to develop an advanced operating system for digital cameras. And uh, later they realized that uh, the market of digital cameras was not large enough. And then the company, they decided that, uh, that uh, they, they need to get diverted uh, to, um, to, know, to a mobile operating system. And, uh, and then in July 2005, Google acquired Android for at least around uh, $50 million. Well, that's a huge amount. And uh, who key employees are around us, uh, including the founders such as Rubin, Miner, and White, as you know before. And uh, they also stayed after the company, you know, company after acquisition. And now coming to the introduction of Android, that is, uh, well, it is an uh, um, open source software platform and operating system for the mobile devices, which is based on uh, Linux kernel. And uh, it was developed by Google and, uh, and by later on by the OHA. Well, that's OHA stands for uh, Open Handset Alliance. And uh, it also allows writing managed code in the Java language. And uh, Android also has its own virtual machine. Well, that is called as the as a DVM. Well, that is a Dalvik virtual machine, which is used for executing the Android application. And of July 2013, the Google Play Store, they had over 1 million Android applications published. And then later on, around 50 billion applications were downloaded. And now coming to the Android versions. Well, Android began with the release of Android Beta in November 2007. And then uh, they first launched their first version, that is, Android 1.0 in September 2008. And the latest Android update, that is Android 6.0 Marshmallow, was released in uh, October 2015. Well, that's the last month. And uh, Android versions have been developed under a confectionery theme code name. Well, that sounds quite interesting. And uh, they had released uh, in, uh, released in, sorry, released in uh, alphabetical order. Well, uh, they started the Android version with the confectionery theme code name that's Cupcake. Well, you can see the see in the slide the cupcake in the sense uh, it's, uh, it just shows it shows a pictorically a cupcake, and next comes the donut, which shows in donut pictorially, and then comes the eclair, then fryo, then it's the gingerbread, then uh, it's the honeycomb. And uh, it's the ice cream sandwich, and uh, jelly bean, Kit Kat, and the lollipop. Well, uh, this is the one which I'm using at the present. And uh, as I was telling you, the latest one, well, that's the Marshmallow Android 6.0. So now comes the Android architecture, which uh, my team member will be, will be explaining it to you. The architecture is the one of the most important requirement for an any operating system. Android architecture, Android architecture is a software stack which is split into four layers. That is the application layer, the application framework, the libraries and the runtime, the kernel. And this is the this is a uh, diagram about the complete uh, Android architecture. First comes the application layer. The next is the application framework. The third one is the applica uh, libraries and the run Android runtime. And fourth one is the Linux kernel. And the bottommost layer is the Linux kernel. 
which contains a display driver, camera driver, Bluetooth driver, flash memory driver, and binder driver. It is an architecture which is based on Linux 2.6 kernel. This is the this layer is a core of Android architecture. It provides services like power management, memory management, security, etc. It helps in software or hardware binding for better communication. Basically, the Linux kernel is the one which provides uh, software support for the ha hardware which are present in the mobile devices. The next comes the libraries. Library contains Surface Manager, Media Framework, SQLite, OpenGL, FreeType, WebKit, SGL, SSL, LibC, etc. Android has its own libraries which is written in C or C++. These libraries cannot be accessed directly. With the help of application framework, we can access these libraries. There are many libraries like web, li web libraries to access web browsers, libraries for Androids and video formats. There are certain libraries such as uh, SQLite which is used to store data in the database. Next is Android Runtime. Android Runtime was designed specifically for the Android to meet the needs of running in an embedded environment where you have limited battery, limited memory, limited CPU. Dalvik is the process virtual machine in Google's Android operating system. It is the software that runs the apps on Android devices. Dalvik is thus an integral part of Android which is typically used on mobile devices such as mobile phone and tablet computers. Programs are commonly written in Java and compiled to a bytecode. The programs can, can also be written in C using native C. The next comes the important uh, layer which is the application framework layer. It contains activity manager, windows manager, content providers, view system, notification manager, package manager, telephony manager, resource manager, location manager and XMPP service. This is all written in Java programming language and the application framework is the toolkit that all application uses. This application includes the one that comes with the phone like home application or the user application known as phone application. It includes application written by Google and it includes apps that will be written by us. So all the app applications uses the same framework and the same APIs. So these are about the managers. Activity manager. It manages the life cycle, life cycle of applications. It enables proper management of all the activities. All the activities are controlled by activity manager. Resource manager. It provides access to non-core resources such as graphics etc. Notification manager. It enables all applications to display custom alerts in status bar. Location manager. It fires alerts when user enters or leaves a specified geographical location. Package manager. It is used to retrieve data about installed packages on devices. Windows Manager. It is used to create views and layouts. Telephony Manager. It is used to handle settings of network connections and all information about services on the devices. Next is the application layer. It contains home, context, phone. That is the basic app, app, apps which we use for the day-to-day -day uses. Application layer is the final layer of Android architecture. It includes home application, contact application, browser and apps. All the applications like camera, Google Maps, browser, SMS, calendar, context or native application. That means that it comes when you install the OS. These applications work with the end user with the help of application framework to operate. Next is the security. Now coming to security. Security is one of the imp most important features for a successful operating system. Android is a multi-process system in which each application runs in its own process. Most security between applications and the system is enforced at the process level through standard Linux facilities such as user and group IDs that are assigned to applications. Android is designed having multi-layer multi security which provides flexibility for this platform. When, attacks at, when attackers attempt attack on device, Android platform help to reduce the portability of the attack. As, uh, as discussed earlier, Android is an open source operating system. It gives developers and users a lot of flexibility. Android is also one of the leading mobile operating system. Some of the key components of the Android security are described as follows. Design review. When a security model is designed, then it will be reviewed by the developer so that the risk level will be very less while using the model. Code review and penetrating testing. The goal of this code review is that some, some part of the code is taken and it is sent for testing to check whether the system can defend itself from the attacks so that it can become strong. 
open source and community review android uses open source technologies that have significant external review such as linux kernel incident response android team enables the rapid mitigation of vulnerabilities to ensure that potential risks to all android users are minimized so that's all about android thanks for watching this video